This is the ghost train reimagined. This is my ghost train. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone. So, I'm sure by now you will have already seen um, a video on my main channel called something like recreating Darren Brown's ghost train. The reason I'm unsure at the moment is because I've literally just started planning that video. As you can see behind me, I've spent uh, a few hours just uh, drafting out the whole script for this video. And uh, I was talking to Luca, who's just over there. There he is. The biggest issue we have at the moment is for the first pre-show, I don't actually have a train. So me and Luca were thinking, we were brainstorming ideas and I found this nice little box which had pork scratchings, big up. Um, and yeah, Luca came up with a great idea to... Uh, spray paint. We're going to spray paint this <laughs> to, uh, you know... Look like a train. Basically be a train. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work, but yeah, we're going to go and spray paint it now and we'll see how it goes, I guess. So, yeah. Let's go and give it a go. Now it's to get painting. Yeah, it's going to be nice. You saying about that then, Luca? It's looking kind of white. It's all right, isn't it? Going through some white, white spray paint. We're just going to leave it out here to dry for a little bit. And then I think we're going to have to paint a train on it. It will look like a train somewhat when yeah. it's done. <laughs> I know it doesn't look great, but it's going to be on screen for like five, ten seconds. So I am contempt of that. <laughs> it's not too bad. It looks like a train. That's all I was going for. Oh yeah. my god! Oh my god. <laughs> That's pretty sick. <laughs> That's incredible. You've got too much spare time, man. <laughs> so here we are on the set, ready for our first day of shooting. Um I'll give you a little tour. I'll give you a little tour. Luke is, of course, on the cam right now. So we've got a vertical camera for this one, which isn't very common. Um, but obviously, we want to be capturing my entire body. So it just kind of makes sense because all of this background here will be cropped out. But yeah, we've got some nice lighting. Got um, the script on the laptop down here that Luca will be holding just under the camera. <laughs> and then uh, we've got the ghost train itself down here, propped up on a little uh, lens cap. And yeah, we, we managed to figure out the green screen issue, um, basically using two green screens in one, but hopefully it does the job. But yeah, hopefully this all goes to plan. It's going to come to life in the edit, but so long as we can bang this little uh, filming session out, it should be all good. But yeah, let's see how it goes. It's a fact that statistically 11... <laughs> Oh, no. How do you not know this bit off by heart anyway? Statistically, 11% of you are scared of the dark, 34% of you are terrified of small spaces, and 3% of you will wet your pants at the sight of a stupid clown. Okay, here we go. Right, but why? Well, fear is in our DNA. In evolutionary terms, fear is incredibly healthy. Without it, your ancestors wouldn't have been here long enough to survive and pass on the genes that define you. It's good for you. So today then, I'm going to... Go from there. I'll see you on the other side. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my hands hurt after that. Blimey. <laughs> So you join me on the second day of shooting for the Ghost Train video now. We're currently shooting the scene um, for all of the VR sections um, where essentially the characters are on a tube train and to simulate that we've basically got the sofa that we use for the launch, put this white sheet over it 
And in the editing process, I'm basically going to duplicate it, kind of, to make it seem like we've got this long sofa tube chain setting. Um, but obviously a funny part of this scene is the fact that we're all um, just diff playing different characters. I play different, three different characters and Luca plays two. He is just... Are you ready? Yeah. Luca is just here in his second outfit coming in. <laughs> We've got the road for yeah, this boy. one. Yeah, um, but yeah, the hardest thing about this scene is just getting the timings on point because obviously everyone has to react to the things going on at the same time. So we've got a timer on the TV just down there so that we know when to react and stuff. But you must be boiling, mate. Well, I'm so <laughs> right. Bearing in mind, it's like a UK heat wave at this point. I'm going to coat. And we've got two massive lights in it. But it's very hot. Yeah, we're gonna bang this scene out, so let, let's do it, let's do let's it. Let's go. And action. Window. Excuse me, I want to get off. Babe, sit down. No, I want to get off. Excuse me. We're just preparing for the last, uh, Last shoot of the uh, section two VR. Excuse me, I want to get off. Babe, sit down. No, no, excuse me, I want to get off. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean, it's quite, it's quite a tight. Yeah, we'll see about getting there. Literally like. So that is the VR section that I've done. I'll give you guys a little exclusive. It's not actually a VR headset. It's my phone case <laughs> with a custom drawn Subcore Energy logo oh, we love on that. Luca's headband. <laughs> so yeah, very DIY, but you gotta make do with what you've got. I mean, I think on the, on the main cam, it looks pretty realistic, so. I took a photo and it does look very That's real. That's all that matters really, but yeah, just a little phone case. Okay, so second to last character of today's shoot, I'm going to be the tramp. And for this one, to try and like distinguish my face from the other characters, we've got some face paint and we're going to be doing a bit of stubble because uh, tramp's quite messy. He's got a few like just, just dirt marks on his face, but we're really going to try and get a beard going. So we'll see how it goes, we'll see how it looks. Hang, let's go and shoot this. You're brave. You know there's gas down here. Charlie! It's gonna be it. Where's my life? <laughs> <laughs> so hot in there, man. Oh, look at how I'm sat. My <laughs> knees are... <laughs> oh it's so uncomfortable. Oh. So, that is a wrap on this evening shooting. Big up Luca for helping out and starring in some of the scenes. Of boy, oh boy, what's the time? It is. 2.03. 2 o'clock in the morning. It's so hot in here because of these massive lights. Got two of them. But yeah, successful shoot, I think. Yeah. As I said, the majority of this scene, these scenes, because we shot multiple scenes um, of the VR, it's going to come together in the editing. So it's hard to tell at the moment if it's actually going to work. But as I said, I did some tests earlier and we filmed it exactly the same, but like in costumes and stuff this time. So... I think it'll work. Um, what did we film? We filmed everything tonight, but this last one was me coming over the back of the sofa, as sitting the on the floor girl. as a demon girl, hence the um, like dirt on my face. But yeah, that is a wrap for tonight. It's tiring stuff, but it was, it was. Got it done, and I, I think it's going to be very funny <laughs> once I put it all together Definitely in the some edit. Sections I'm excited for. It's going to take even longer to edit this video than it has to film, just because there's so many like layers that are going to make up this um, 
final product. But yeah, very excited to hit the editing station for right now. Just gonna pack up and head to bed, I think. Yeah, good shoot. So this is our third scene that we're shooting now. We've done the pre-show, the VR sections, and now this is like the live action scene in the middle of Ghost Train. Basically, I'll show you the set. We've cleared out our entire corridor. We've got our uh, footwear clothes sign and everything. We've got the camera pretty much set up and ready to go. But we've got a major problem, haven't we? Oh, currently, <laughs> our smoke machine is not working. Our health and safety officer. <laughs> so if, according to my documents here, on my, doc on my uh, clipboard, we should have a brand new smoke machine, but... We basically, we can't find the smoke fluid and we've got no power cable, so we've called in a favour and hopefully it pulls through because what's the time? It's like half, half midnight, half 12, yeah. half 12. It's very late, but hopefully I'll put in a message to a good friend of ours and fingers crossed it's going to pull through because we literally can't film a scene without a smoke machine because the train goes through a tunnel of smoke, so. And we have got some really, really, really cool effects once we do have yeah, some smoke. We can't film a scene without it, so we're just gonna wait in now, and fingers crossed, our contact pulls through. We've only got to done it, bro. We've collected a brand <laughs> new smoke machine. Big shout out to Taryn and Mike. Over in uh, prop and design. We've, we've come and over. Special effects. Oh yeah, we've come over and collected it. Full of smoke fluid. Oh yes. The special effects department has pulled it. Well, it's it's like it's like ten to one now, so we're gonna head back, film this, and then uh, and yeah, we'll nearly be done with the video. But so gas we got this. <laughs> I thought we were gonna have to forfeit this scene, but we're all good. So guys, I hope you like this beautiful costume. Um, I'm now the construction worker in the tunnels and this is a finale shot. This is like the main shot of this entire scene. I've got the tripod for this one. And uh, this is obviously where the train comes towards the camera. Um, it will come towards the audience as if it's gonna crash into them. So we've got the footway toes for the tunnel and uh, our train is just coming around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what this is. It's basically a two torches on a tube. With two torches. And yeah, we've got the strobe light down here. This is like the main scene, so hopefully it goes well. Yeah, we've smashed the rest of the filming tonight. Yeah, very good train. <laughs> <laughs> So then folks, you now join us at, what's the time now? It is 4.56. 4.56 a.m. We've literally just filmed the live action scene with the tunnel and the train. And me and Luca thought we're up late. Let's cycle to our local reservoir. And we have the lovely sunrise. We've got a us. lovely sunrise over by Heathrow. And I thought, you know what? I'm filming a little time lapse just over there behind Luca. I thought this can actually work quite well as one of the little subcore adverts on the train. So yeah, that's why you're watching this right now. Technically oh. it is a behind the scenes. And as we didn't mention before, we did go to a field nearby to film some other stuff for that. We did. We? So we'll play that right now. So yeah, even just the small details in this video are being catered for. I've put so many hours in. Yeah, it's taken us up here at 4.30 a.m. But what a view, it's not complaining at all. Yeah, good times, good times. So we're now filming literally the last shot of the entire video. 
and I am currently the demon. So we don't actually have a demon mask, so I'm just kind of going as like a faceless monster. <laughs> and yeah, we're about to film the final scene. I wouldn't recommend putting bin bags on your head, guys, but... Go on. For the content. Give us a demonstration. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, <laughs> this is one of those times where I'm like, what the hell am I doing with my life? <laughs> oh dear. Bearing in mind it's like 2am as well. 2am, but I think that's a wrap on the entire Ghost Train video. I can't think of anything else we need to film. We've got to do a few voiceovers, we've got to do some audio stuff, but visually, oh my god. I think that's everything. It's so hot in here as well. Like we've got these two big soft boxes. I'm sweating. But yeah, that is a visual wrap on the Ghost Train video. Let's go! Feeling that he never preed me back, he never did jack, hold that. I think I'm way, but I'm definitely not sure. I'm never washed up, I know I got more. Painting pictures with words, top drawer. Trying to find a middle ground is a lost cause.